Hey, a big shout out to Shay's channel, Metagory, Mig, Sean Warren, Ian Shelmington, Corrupto, Michael Cassell, Blaine Bortuga, Silla Cybing, and Matt Owey for clicking the join button and helping support the content. If you do enjoy, you can also help support the content by considering clicking that like button, subscribing, and ringing the bell. Enjoy the show, my friends. And uh, welcome back to Noita. I'm a sufferer of Let's Suffer Together back. In the mountains, my friends, but firstly, of course, since this is here, we'll be able to go get our customary orb. And I can't remember. I've got a new mod that allows me to get to the pyramid in, in seconds. It literally just, as soon as I get the mountain altar, allows me to get a portal to the pyramid. It just, you know, for casual runs, I could, you know, I could spend the five minutes walking over and walking back, but if I'm entertaining, you know, by playing... A little mod to help, you know, cut out some of the bullshit made by Priskip that. You'll remember him from some of the other videos we've done, done some collaborations together. He's also making a new Doom wand mod, which sounds highly interesting. And of course, we get our customary orb before we even head in. We've got firebolts as well. Wonderful days. I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. It's gone. I bet we kicked that one over the tree. Fuck. But it's, again, the sun has been beating me down. I'm sorry about the scheduling recently. It's been a little bit, you know, I, I've been a little bit off. I apologize, you know. I'm trying to bring a bit more variety to the channel. And having days off doesn't really help that. But, again, there is a purpose to it. With the sun being, you know, such a thief, robbing me of all my energy, I need to, you know, make sure... I get my relaxing times in. I know you all appreciate that. I am not a person who enjoys weather. Oh, wait, 17. I'll get the Fuck, man. 17. And they've got some muscles, those dudes. You know? And they've got a strong punch in hand. Can we get over? We cannot, but we can wait. We've got to wait because we don't have any real liquid. We don't have any water. I'm going to kick this explosive. Oh, okay, get out of the way. And I oh, no. Right, 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 right. Douse yourself in a puddle of liquid and you'll be fine. You just can't spray yourself with a liquid. Well, that will work, but we're going to have to wait for it, which means classic vaping time. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Um, hmm. I can start a fire on the wall. That's not a problem. Let me just put some water in my pheromone, just in case. No, you never know. Hey, at least they didn't headbutt me. One goal for those dudes, considering it's a little, you know, it's a little mean. Having this bio modify this early as well, but... Ah, this is Noita, after all. I'm fine with it. Scully, nothing but the best, bro. Oh, that's gonna go back. Oh, I saved it. No, I didn't. Oh, no. We, get, we only get the secondary bone kick. And that was terrible as well. That was back healed. That's probably gonna cross the tree, you know? <laughs> Going all the way west. East. And, um, you come all the way back west? It went that far. Right. Give me one HP, game. That's what I'm looking for. One's HP. Maybe even spells. Got him. But there's a bit of a problem with... Because I was, I was meant to be uploading Hades to the YouTubes. There might be a bit of a problem, because I wanted to do it from start to finish. You know, all the story and everything, you know, even if it was a bit of a long video, the last one, you know, there's a lot of story and a lot of gameplay to get through, you know, if, especially if I'm going from zero to, you know, wherever it end up being. Um, all right, there we get the HP. However, I was trying to edit one before uh, today. And, um, a bit of a problem, the audio on the, one of the streams, 
isn't seeming to come up. I'm going to try and fix it, but I do apologise about that. It's not favourable. I might be able to get through there. I don't know if it has an exit, though. No, I can't get through any more. We're going to have to go all the way around, but I did get my HP, so... These do burn down quite nicely, though. I will say that for them. Alright, we played a waiting game, because again, I've got very little liquid. Yeah, get a bit of blood on me, that'll be fine. And that will limit the uh, potential for setting myself on fire. What wacky and wonderful things can we find today? I want ducks. It's been a while since I've got ducks on, on stream at the moment. We're doing a long run. Although I do need to play more Hades, so that's going to be interchanged with a bit of Hades. Maybe even some Enter the Gungeon. Again, I want to get to a bit of variety. I need a new game as well, you know? Anybody got any great games? The last spell is, looks a little intriguing. Um, I've heard a few people talk about that. And that is on a possible list of things to consider. I, I, again, I'm very picky about what I bring to the channel. Um... I need to see something within it, you know, I can't just, you know, spec, uh, again, when other people say something's great, I do listen, but I need to see something myself, you know, that really opens my eyes and gives me the, uh, you know, the encouragement to check it out, because, you know, I need the enthusiasm, right, as a content creator and as a, you know, I play it, oh, money, player of them video games, Jesus, that's pretty painful, mate. Oof. You see, this is why no one likes these purples. But Undermine also, I need to be checking the new update that's going to come out for that. That might be a video tomorrow or the day after. But definitely something coming there soon with Undermine. Competitive gameplay even, so... Uh, if anybody's interested in playing Undermine and, you know, getting on that daily, because it, it's going to be a daily run where you get a certain amount of hexes, essentially difficulty modifiers, um, and go on a run and we'll scoreboard it at the end. It's going to be awesome. Again, me and Perskip are going to have a bit of a nice little rivalry on that, I think, you know. Especially if it's a daily ride, because that's awesome for daily content, just once a day. Nice, pop it off, and, you know, people can then run the run, see how they do. And Undermine is a great game. I wish it got more... I played it a hell of a lot. If you've been following this channel a long time, you know my feelings towards Undermine. However, no, because I play... If you play a game for about 1,000 hours, 2,000 hours, which I did with Undermine, right? And I played it in Early Access. Jesus, lag. Uh, played it in Early Access. And, you know... Help support it as a game with daily content and get the people seeing what I see, you know, because I saw a lot of potential in it. Um, however, uh, it didn't reach its full potential, I don't think, as a game and as a game that could have had a community built around it. I really do think it's it, it was possible um, and difficult, but possible. And again, it never really fully popped off. Although a lot of big streamers played it, which was awesome. You know, it's... When other games come out as well, that can interfere. It's uh, so many variables. Uh, a good release of a game on many different factors, you know, whether it's an actually good game, whether it's got a good online community or content creator community, you know, it's... However, a lot of roguelikes tend to get more popular the more updates that come out. Obviously, because a roguelike game, the more stuff that's in it, it doesn't make it better, but it makes it more likely to be... Cons like, for people to find stuff that they like, you know? Whether it be from story, items, passives, or actives, whatever. If a person finds a few things they like early on in the game, or they see something they like as well, that can make a difference. We don't have any ones, but we do have money... We do have money we need to protect. He's running away, I'm gonna run away. Um, and we'll be done. We shall.
eventually. Thank you very much. So we got two HP though. Glass cannon me. Do it game, we got a spare reg. <laughs> Teleport straight away, okay. <gasps> saving grace, okay. No ma oh, I would love to have taken ghost there, but saving grace is uh... You know, for the entire run, because I like to start and I like to finish, right? Dying in the middle, it happens, and it's not embarrassing. It, you know, it happens to everybody, you know? Tell me it doesn't. But, at the start of a run, you know, uh, I've got to take at least one or two things that I can hold on to and go, right, that's going to keep me alive. I'll tell you what, though. That'll pay for itself. That's actually going to be really good. Yeah, recharges its mana super quick. Um, so bombs shooting and teleport. Could leave the teleport off and just collapse this. I'll tell you what, that's a good one as well. I'll take it. Oh, plasma cutter? We could cut our way out. Or we could cut through metal. Um, that's a tricky one, because then when we do pick up a wand, we actually have to ditch something. Or I could just put bombs on here. Yeah, absolutely. And save the plasma cutter. Accuracy? Good accuracy. Nice. Right then. Now <laughs> we find something straight away. to bring some water back into this uh, here potion. What do we got? Chainsaw straight away. Okay. We can strip that wand quite nicely. That was a close one. Ah, oh, we definitely take them. Whether we do anything else with them though at the moment. Because we just want to be able to take something, ditch the wand. Take something, ditch the wand, right? Or keep the wand or switch the wands around. Especially if we're finding bulk quickly. Before we even go into fungals. But this uh, starting bomb wand has 20 mana um, on the recharge, which has made it spectacular. It's not often you find that. Well, this one should pay for itself. But we had enough money to spare anyway, so... Ah, uh, it's no way. I could try and kick a bomb. Well, that was bad. I, I, again, I dropped the bomb by accident. I had the wrong one down. I want that chunk, though. Are we going to be able to get in there if we loop around? Don't even think about it. I'll tell you what, even when it's run out, it fires probably faster than my main one, right? Yeah, we did good there. Can we head upwards, please? Finally. Let me... Oh, don't block me off. It doesn't matter. A bomb will go straight through that. We can keep... Yeah, get the money. Need to pay for these ones. Although, oh, that was a nicely lodged bomb, wasn't it? Get more gold. Head into our wants. Um, oh, the bomb was way over there. This is going to take most of my bombs, to be honest. That's pretty rude. Okay, that TNT went a bit way down, didn't it? Alright, I need to... Stay there. Oh, it did. It stayed there. Wonderful. That's the best it could have been. Slowly. Make, I think we're fucked here. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> okay. Try teleport. Um, in there. Yeah, you see? Cheekiness. Plop a bomb here. And get the money. Alright, where's this fucking one? There we are. Finally. Always. Oh, okay. Because if we load up that with regular spark bolts, 
with chainsaws. That's not going to take much mana, right? That is going to be well worth it. Tell me it won't. I'm going to make bank right there. With a the damage. I think we can go back now and probably... Oh, I forgot an increased mana on that wand. That would be better. Um, definitely strip the one now though, before we go into fungals, otherwise we're not going to be able to do anything um, with any wand at all. We'll run out of space to consider things. Right, so it's it's recharging 21. And at the rate of fire, this is firing one spark bolt. This is charging up, you know, to be able to fire a hell of a lot. Chainsaw is going to take a few manners, but uh, hey, this is going to be wonderful. It's a non shuff as well. with the Venomous. It's definitely an improvement. It allows me to drop this one, though. Um, you know, get rid of the basic. We can always drop the Bomb Wand as well. There is no... Uh, now, we'll rely on Venomous for now. Always cast Venomous with a, re like a really potato wand, to be honest. It's got a few good things about it, like it's not slow. Hence the chainsaws doing the good works. But I just want to see this operate in combat, you know? I'm excited. It's definitely a thing, you know? Venomous. With a few spark bolts backing it up, you know? Yeah, I love tick damage. I think, I've always thought this, that you get more mana recharge if you don't have your wand actively out. Like, it'll recharge faster because I've turned it off, essentially. So it's going to kill enemies. You know, just ram... You see, he's dying, everybody. He got shot. And it's always going to be venomous. And they're never using mana for it. Never, you know. Never missing out on the opportunity. Where the fuck are we even going? Is this a bomb opportunity? It is. Nice. Skull. Um. Hey, we got a thousand, you know. That's not so bad. And we are now at Fungal. We're pretty much full HP, right? So, does Venomous work on mechanicals and such, you know? Like, if I can take good chunks out of any mechanical... Alright, there could be money down there now. As soon as you see an explosion like that, like a soft explosion especially, you know, one that isn't going to destroy much terrain on the ground. Um, because, obviously, if there's, a if there's an explosion on the ground, money just seeps through. Meh. Just seeps through the ground and you lose a lot of it. Just it's a nest, isn't it? Yeah. And then there's an actual nest where all sorts of goings on. I need to recharge this one soon. Oh, it was a friend. No. Just so need a bit of time. Probably. Yeah, why not? would be right next to a wall, but at least we know we're on the ground. I clicked it with some venomous. Again, does it stack the more I hit them, the more damage it does? That's doing... So that's doing 6 and 12. 17, 6, 7, yeah, 16. It might, yeah, it looks like it stacks. 
Yeah, that's good science. I've never known that, you know? So the more it hits, but, like, the weaker the shot, then. Yeah, we just get rid of our default wand. So the faster rate of fire you can do, like, bubble, a homing bubble wand would be hilarious for it, for instance. And... Oh, we get to replace our bomb wand. Although it's not a good replacement. Although I can just get rid of this two capacity. Yeah. That'd be the smart idea. So that's like getting 18 a tick or something like that. Like per tick on the stack, so... Yeah, we got enough though. Still carrying no water. You know, it's got big balls like that, you know. <laughs> Why, when you explode the toxic rock, obviously all the, you know, you might technically destroy some of the terrain, but you see, you actually see a lot of the powder of the explosion. For, it's like, you know, it'd be like a load of dust coming your way. A load of toxic dust. That'd fuck you up, you know. You wouldn't just shrug it off. Shaman die there? Oh, if I could venomous all those dudes. Just like I got sprayed with toxic or sprayed with acid, right? You know? Ooh, broken wand. Friend. Broken wand, friend? Yes. Need that money. Yeah, I'm still gonna run out of ammo. Uh, ammo. Well, yeah, ammo, man. Really, you know, mana, ammo, same thing. Oh, friend, coming in, and saving the day. We get a load of money. We didn't re-roll, did we? So we're still. So good. Ah, not so good, although I do like the double on that one. Holy shit, man. Yeah, I can venomous them. It's not much damage. Let's see how much I can stack, you know. He's melee, right? He shouldn't be too difficult to get away from. Yeah, that's like maybe there's a maybe there's a limit. Sixteen um, seems to be the highest you can get to. Although obviously, less. It's a like two ticks per second or something. Oh, shotguns! And um, for this run, I'm bringing back the shotgun ban. You know, we've overused shotguns a little bit since we said, you know, the ban was officially. I suppose. How did I not? How did I not hit one then? Yeah, I could probably use this wand all the way to the end, right? Like a single venomous, as long as I can get a high return of fire, hitting the enemy. You know, that is exactly what we want. Invisibility, you gone. We've got plasma cutter, so I can dig my way out of the holy mountain. Plus, if I can venom it. I'm getting them. Oh, yes. Jesus Christ, you tap them a few times. And, I mean, killing a Robocop literally that fast. There's no. P right. If I was to use a trigger, that would essentially make the wand worse. Because on a trigger, the thing that's being triggered, you know, say you've got a spark bolt, fire bolt combo. With a spark bolt being a trigger. So you're firing, you know, a spark bolt, and then when you hit the enemy, uh, it gets fire bolted. You know, classic. With unlimited spells. 
the actual fire bolt wouldn't have venomous, but the spark bolt would. But anything on the trigger. So if you loaded up the trigger with chainsaws, like another great classic, you know. Just multiply your damage via a trigger. Uh, stacking the good old chainsaws with like a triple or a quad spell. Hmm. Do we want, need, or otherwise want to entertain, homie? Because think about it. Using the bubbles, like the lowest mana shot we can obtain is the best, right? Or the highest rate of fire. Like this, the equation is basically accuracy versus fucking rate of fire mana cost. Although, if I could, right, if I could get increased mana on this one, it'd be such a good uh, little perk to obtain. Here's the thing. If we know we're using this wand, because the idea entertains me to get through the game with 21 charge speed. Um, I don't know about you, but that's uh, pretty nifty. I don't need a good wand. Carrying this broken wand is kind of redundant, unless I can find another always cast. I'll tell you what, since, you know, the very last update, always casts have been popping off, you know. I don't really need bombs, I mean, oh, I mean, ah, oh, screw it, that can go. We haven't got a direct replacement for it, but I don't fucking need it. <laughs> we'll go do our own business. Nah, he, nah, he'd been injured beforehand, that was not my <laughs> Venomous, that, that was, uh, that was slight propaganda on the game's part for Venomous Curse, you know? It was giving it a good show and making you think I killed that dude in like microsecond. No, that wasn't me. I'm not taking the, uh, you know, all the goodness for that. I mean, I'd love, I'd love the uh, goodness and the praise for killing a eh, pretty tanky enemy in, you know, no time at all. Yeah, we're done. I'm not messing around. We know what we know what our setup is. We need to venomous the shit out of everything. See, again, this is a true test of venomous. This is the venomous run. Because it's pretty expensive, right? So you might not always consider using it. But if I can show you on a free one with anything on par with spar bolts, really, you know? Better or worse, doesn't matter. As long as it's on par. Like, high rate of fire. Green? Oh, did we take the accuracy? We did, because if we get green shots... Ah, the mana... The problem with this build is I can't really entertain modifiers on this one because of the charge speed. Oh, fuck you. You know that's me? Right, then. Glass cannon. Um, with venomous, I'm not sure glass cannon. You know, if it would receive any extra. Oh, come on, give me. A, if I can get a mana on this wand, we are laughing. A mana. An increased mana would give me 30 mana. It, you know, a wand has to go through every active slot on a wand before it recharges. And add mana essentially gives you 30 plus mana for the wand. But, uh, you know, it, it'll give you 30, but then it'll have to do every... Unless it's a shuffle one. Um, and then I think it still has to go for everything. But yeah, it's, it's essentially 30 mana for every clip before you need to reload. So if you have a if you have a wand that has an add mana and takes less than 30, you'll actually profit. You'll actually just reload your wand faster. It's hilarious. These are garbage. I mean, projectile resistance would be amazing, but... More blood. Gold is forever. No, thank you. Trick read. More love. More love is one of those... I really I really enjoy more love. I feel like the enemies get a bit more docile. But on a short... Uh, you know, a casual run like this... I uh, don't think we need to entertain that idea. An explosion immunity? Of course. Because now we can have fun outside of the Venomous. We'd probably just keep the wand as is. There's no real need to mess around with it. 
but now I can fireball all bit, you know. And oh, I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, oh, that's a that's a question, isn't it? Oh, right, that's fucking sexy, isn't it? Just adds to the explosive nature of it. A giant explosion on drunk enemies. Oh, I'll tell you what. Yeah, let's just. Uh... Oh. Oh, we still. <laughs> It's rot it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. Do you, like, do you want rims for your casual explosive box? Fireball from it. Uh, okay, we don't need to. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to do that. Mainly because I don't really mind if I get rid of these two. Uh, actually. Because it's unlim- oh, Fuck off. Seriously. You ruin everything. Are we all intrigued on that one? Really? Oh, this takes 40, this takes 40, so overall it's 80 and then it'll be uh, wounded. Although I'm still intrigued, so. Nah, it's not that spectacular, is it? Could have done without all that, but if we want to use homing, we're gonna have to get like two increased manners. Or get very lucky and get a bloodlust, but nah, that's garbage. That is that again the always cast, man. Come on. Definitely want the Lumi Drills for later. We'll get the fire. Because um, if I do get an add mana, right? The total cost of this wand at the moment is about 13. So I've got 17 more mana that I could put on this. And then it, then the wand would be mana neutral. It wouldn't cost mana to fire it. It wouldn't, you know, prof I wouldn't profit off it. So I could easily put a Luminous Drill on and then find me a triple or quad cast or something like that. Go nuts. But we are set up with a, you know, very basic and nice setup. You've got to remember we've got unstable teleportanium as well, so we can hopefully pick out some spells from the shoppy, the free shop. Do we venomous these fuckers? Oh, that's awesome! Right, twelve for. Oh, it so does stack. Jesus Christ, man! Eighty damage a second. Just buy a little tickle? I'm an idiot. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Not really. Again, if we know what our build is, and I don't really want to deviate away from it because, you know. I want to put this to the test. I want to see if there's any pitfalls to it, you know? When I'm going along, if anything becomes really hard to kill, I want to know about it. Like, I want to take on a bunch of he -see. Someone died then. Someone got fucked up. We're going to ride the ice. Shit, man. Like, he see, I definitely gonna. Alright, what the fuck? He see, are always gonna be a bit vulnerable. To everything. But imagine that. You do your regular damage on a wand. And then you go into. Behind your cover. And then the enemy just dies. That's a venomous curse for you. But if I can take out, say, a sentry. A bit easier than usual. Like, nah, just leave it to tick. What the fuck? This is... It's OP, is what it is. Although it costs you 30 mana to fire on a regular... run-of-the-mill kind of deal. However, a single add mana would pay for it, so... Ah, oh, because they're ticking away. That's awesome. The venomous making them tick. It's been a worm. I'm kind of confident against Steward. We don't have uh, melee immunity. I have died stupidly like this before. I'm going on a bit of a mission in a wormhole. 
It's not sensible. At all. Whoops. A more unstable teleport. Uh, somehow I don't think I need them. Yeah, a little bit of a lie show you feel while we hunt out this one. Always cast. Okay. Okay. That is actually appealing. How about we just only always cast as our main one, you know? Get rid of bombs. Bombs have become useless. <laughs> oh, mana though? Let's just drink all this mana up. I mean, we don't want to drink too much just in case we find Wormblood. But it'll basically help me support this one for the entirety of the biome. And everything will die super fast because I'm stacking Venomous so fucking quick. Although I took more damage than I would have liked there, but hey, yeah, we're rich already. We don't need to worry so much. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> okay. Get it. Oh, he shot the acid. Oh, I want to see the outcome of that if it's... Oh, he, sh he, he defended himself. He saw it coming. What a shot. I am 100% sh am sure if he didn't shoot that acid, it was going to land directly on him. You know, that was a life-saving shot from the dude. I respect that, you know. He's looking after... How did I not get hurt by bubbles then? I just kind of fell with style. Just like Buzz Lightyear. Like, let me know in the comments on a scale of 1 to 10. Like, how impressed are you at Venomous? Like, whether you knew already or didn't know. Green shot, though. Ooh, TNT. Yeah, I need to play to the build. I, I, you know, I can't be sentimental about things that I, I enjoy, like TNT. Because, for one, it's not on build. Shit. Oh, I've got chainsaws. It's not productive mana wise, but. I can go back and get my TNT. <laughs> yeah, should I do that? I need to leak a lot of water. The thing is, oh, who's after me? Yeah, the facts have got... Oh, he's ticking away. Wonderful. Yeah, this allows you to be so cheeky with such shit, shit shots. I suppose it's just like, you know, the additional damage you get off an explosive projectile. But I think it's more versatile. I think it's more usable, you know? Come on, where's the downward at? I need my downward shots. There you go. Give it a little bit of bombardment, mate. Well, at least it's not an electric stun. Ooh. Accelerative homing. We're explosion immune, so that's why I got the. I don't think it's not a firecracker that is explosive projectile for free. Ugh. It's too good. Do we want? Oh, if I put crit on this one, it would cost a bit. While a double would cost nothing and make the one accurate or more accurate. And crit. I mean, 
And it costs quite a bit, but it would be on build. I'm not sure... No, you can't modify a modifier, so I don't think we can crit the Venomous. As a general rule, you know. Um, so, because I'm not going for regular damage, I'm going for just really hardcore Venomous damage. Um, I don't think there's much point in getting crit. Drop a ball, alright, mate. Let's go and replace that wand. Could go back and pick up more. All oh, right, yeah, fair enough. No, there's nothing on that wand anyway. No, there is, but there's not. You know. Are we gonna get an angry boy? We got Ambrosia, so it's fine as long as it. <sighs> Need that mana, although <sighs> scammed. Pure scammage. I saved my money though, so it's fine. 229. We need to make sure. Now we don't really, you know, drunken enemies. Yeah. We need to make sure we got space. So this one could be accurate now. Oh, it is. No, it's definitely going to run out of mana. Um, I could possibly save mana by taking chainsaws off. No, I think that's faster. Um, and, ooh, oh, it's five mana. Uh, for eight damage, though? I suppose I could mix it up, but purple... Is nice and straight and long, you know, a spit a bolt less so. Firebomb 10 mana. Now nah, we need an inventory wand here. We need, oh, mm, yeah, of course. In fact, if I put the accelerating homing on, because it's an explosive projectile, I think that'll work wonders. That's one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Oh, shit. That'll do. Let's get the wet. Oh, with the accelerating home and though, they should live longer if they're closer to the enemy right now. Oh, they wish they would. Uh, this is... I have to get so close range. Regular home and then? Oh, they live such a short lifetime. That's sad face. A fire, a fire bomb. Hey, a bit of spice. Yeah, why not? Um, I take it if I put the chainsaw on this wand, that it would just explode in my face, right? Well, it explodes at the end of my wand, but same thing. I think we're fine. We can ditch this one. Although, no, nah, we don't want to save Spitter Bolts because I need inventory space. In fact, let's save one of them, I suppose. I've got the fire for later, fire bolt for for later, just in case I need to... I forget fire immunity, you know, it changes things. I like this one, though. I've got to see what it's like. Right then, shop it. Anything else? That's a good shuffle wand right there. I could teleport onto my own healing. I don't use heals much. Do I even need that on there? Yes, I do. Although I could do that. take one of these off. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. And then, when I do heal, ah, it'll need to be like that, though. Actually, that's not a problem. Because all I need to do is, yeah. 
I can't fire this one after another. I need to reset the wand. All right, this can fire it, can't it? 40 and 20. No, that's 40 and... 40 and 15. So we've got enough mana on the wand to do it. And I should teleport into my healing. And if I, re if I turn the wand on and off again like that, you know, it will always use this double spell to fire this teleport bolt and this healing bolt. But when this runs out, it'll be this teleport bolt and this healing bolt. And when this one runs out, it'll be this teleport bolt and the third one. So... You know, I've got 60 heals, but I've got to use teleport for other things as well, so... Eh, it's not 60 heals as much as the opportunity for 59 heals. Get ticked, mate. Hold on. I dropped the wrong one. Shit. An oppor... Alright, yeah. An opportunity for about... 56 heals. Well, is it 55 now? How many people were screaming? You can buy one. Although I have a spur. Yeah, these just cost too much to put on my ones. To be fair, I want to save time as well, so I'm going to be using the teleport. Again, I don't think I'll need to heal much. What I do need to be able to do, take away. On toasters especially, because I'm gonna, you can get quite a few shots on them before you need to back away or move to a left or right directions. But I need that mana, baby, you know? I need that mana ASAP, because then I can fire this. I can essentially tune up the wand, you know? It's going to blow. Right, I'm going to... Take a bit of time to get some mana back here, hopefully. Yeah, if I see enemies, you know, essentially just retreat from them. Fire a few times, retreat, you're fine. Let the venomous do its job, you know? Why waste mana if you don't have to? Sorry, medic, he's starting the tick now. He's got the virus. That's dangerous. Oh, we got explosion. Whoa. Yeah, this is a very confidence inducing one. Allow me to play really quite nicely. Ah, the homing mocks me. Um, I don't have any plasma cut or anything like that. This ain't no payday. Payday two. No thermal drill. All right, we'll keep on firing and see who gets through first, mate. Yeah, there we go. Also, the fort. You know, that'd be the outcome. It's not a trick kill, is it? Venomous, then. Okay, alright. You see what I mean? Just teleporting into your own heal. It's the f It's so good. And it's one of those that I'm super proud of because I figured it out myself instead of being, you know... Because, again, as a content creator, you get told a lot of things. And there is possible I heard about it and forgot about someone who told me about it. However, you know, I forgot about it, so it's fine. Oh, but, oh, medic. He, well, you'll heal. You'll be fine. All will be well, I'm sure. Not that we need medic, but, you know. Sorry, medics. It's not that kind of day, you know, you need to realize I've got my own healing today. Come on, be on the side. It's not. Medic, what are you doing following me? Ooh. 
Oof. Bloops coming out of nowhere. Yeah, it doesn't always work. You need to kind of get a good surface to teleport onto. Oh, you're not here. Oh, you're ruining it. Whoops, whoops you daisy. You ruin everything here. Hold on. No, that's just explosive. Well, we still didn't need to go down to the anvil then. Yeah, at least we've got... I say we've got water now. Let's... Looks like water. Or is it still a combination of... Uh... Ooh. Well, I'm oiled up, so I don't really want to... Yeah, pheromone as well. Nice. But my own personal explodey want. Um, I don't really care about that, to be honest. I care about this once. what I can do from it. Dude can't collect one, so... He's fucked on. And always cast. Ooh! Ah. Right. It's a real shame. Because I've got an explosive projectile always cast. If I had the always cast... It's a, such a good one anyway. Um, even though it is shuffle. I won't hold it against it too much. But if we could combine everything we've got, which we kind of can, we can just change ones. Um, like we can explode people after we've given them the weakness of explosive and then finish them off with venomous or something. I don't know. You know, it could use it. Right. Here's the thing it's not ergonomically. Efficient, you know everything separate nothing is together. I'm having to put in a tremendous amount of fucking work If I want to work this one You know everything's going back and forth which isn't again the worst thing and this is not you You're gonna have to put work in And it's the law, but I do like this one it's... All right can't be tits mate He's going to get me firing like this until he's dead. There you go. I mean, that is a sexy one. Alright, yep. I was about to say we need to actually start maintaining our HP. Can we get in there though? Well, it looks like it. can't squeeze through that gap. Oh, I could with a teleport. I was about to say, you're not, you're not stopping me. Let's... Not on this uh... product. My HP, you're not stopping me. I'm getting it. I'm taking it. Yeah, I've already got it. <laughs> you should have run away, he see. You should have run away. Mm. Oh, medic, how you doing? You're not going to explode a propane, right? <laughs> That's the one great thing about medics, they don't explode anything, really. Apart from themselves. Yes, because that's exactly what I want. The electric just popping off. Go back up that way. Luckily, we pre propane the place. Alright, again, we're going to have to bring out the venomous. We're going to have to heal as well. Luckily, I did that. Well, 
I want to see a medic one day heal themselves like this, you know? Get a teleport wand, shoot their own little gun, the massage gun, and then catch up to the uh, shot, you know? I, I'm, not, I'm sorry I do not need your services, but maybe you can learn a thing or two from it. You know, it's a learning opportunity. I like to. And of course, I chose the path to run directly onto the fire. Yeah. I bet there's no good spells here as well. I bet it's all trash. But the fact it might not be. Jesus Christ. Now oh, we got some. Oh, right, 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 right. They're all fucked. I just need them to have acknowledged. Yeah, keep coming, man. Keep coming. And then some good venomous and um, jobs are good. Ooh, again, electric can do various amounts of damage. It's really weird. Sometimes it's so extreme that it'll ruin even a, like, a very well put together run just because you're lacking electric immunity. You know a, a thunderstorm in water kind of deal? That can happen with the light lanterns also, like the lights. Sometimes. But some other times, it's just... Now you get like 1 HP warning or something. It's really odd. I'm not a fan of hitting dead bodies with my shots, you know? I'm really not. It's such a waste of ammo. Bounch, bounch. Come on, where's my mana game? It's a great one. It's not that great. I didn't, you know, I wanted to make it feel good about itself. Jesus Christ, man. Calm yourself. Is, is he going for the one? No. Oh, he's got the one. He, he wouldn't have done too much. Not too much. He could have been. A, uh, he could have been a problem. Maybe a little problem. Are you sure about this, man? He was sure he made his own decisions in life, as we all must do. And his did not pay out, you know. Again, roguelike games, great metaphor for life. You might pick, you know, what seems like the right choice. Dropping down and getting a shot. But, no, fucking dead, mate. I'm gonna explode by a propane tank. That can happen in real life too, you know. Watch out for your propane tanks, guys. Don't accidentally, you know, shoot them. I'm pretty sure that is actually, you know. I think it's more like do not pierce, you know, the propane tank. <laughs> But uh, maybe in America or other places that are very gun prominent, but, uh, you know, UK. While we are allowed to own Uzis in the UK, technically, oh, I, I don't know, unfortunately, I don't know one person who does know, own an Uzi. Probably a farmer somewhere, you know. It's why one of the easiest ways to get a weapon in the UK, own a lot of land, surprisingly enough. We have a bit of pheromone, actually. It reminds me of a story, because my dad was a cop. Actually, in the place where we lived for a little while. But uh, he traveled around as well. Um, but, one of my mates, because he was his dad was <laughs> pretty much a poacher, you know? Um, not just a poacher. Like, he did farm shit and shot and, you know, did wood things um, <laughs> but he was always you know as a kid growing up very kind of you know rural I suppose even though we're in uh, there's rural places around just you know we're a bit of a mix right we've got towns we've got cities we've got rural we're a bit of everything that's why I love the northwest you know you can go anywhere and be anything do anything you want be a fucking you know field person um, a tree dwelling a tree dweller um, there's a bunch of things you can be 
<laughs> you really want to. But, because this um, friend during high school, I I, I'm pretty sure he possibly had a few shotguns licensed to him. Um, I know he had, like, a really kind of weak-ass pistol. Like, a 22 or something like that. Um, pretty much, you know, the lowest caliber you can get. I think he did, anyway, I think it was his. Unless he, he was a show enemy for, uh, you know, bragging rights and it wasn't his. Probably, knowing him. Um, however, I'm sure he said once that my dad actually signed his father's uh, certificate. Because, again, dad police officer doing police things. And I went and asked my dad once, and I think he said, yeah, something like that. Oh, remove explosion? Yeah. That's kind of annoying. Well, we took what we took. Can't change it now. I'm not getting these heels, am I? There we go. Just need a little bit to get me down, you know. I'm pretty sure I didn't, because it's on the last one, I'm pretty sure I didn't need to reload every time, but I did. <laughs> that gold? No. The reason I think the story was a bit more valid was because my dad actually did work in armed response. You know, and again, in a country where we don't exactly have many guns. Having a dad when you're growing up, you sh like, essentially, you know. Gets to play with MP5s and shit. Son of a bitch. Never brought his work home. Never got his... You know. <laughs> if I was... Because, if I again, we have a different culture, I suppose, when it concerns weaponry. English are more about blades, you know. Knives and shit. To be fair, I don't think, you know, a person who had devious intent with a knife, if you offered him a pistol, he'd probably take it as well. Um, but we just can't get them, you know, unless you're in Manchester. <laughs> you know, he's going to Manchester and find a gun, probably. That'd be fine. That's annoying, because I kind of want the projectile area field. I suppose this is going to be the least spectacular. <sighs> I'm annoyed at that. I'm forcing me to get rid of it. I don't see it being amazing long term though. Mana, 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 fuck. Edit, 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 aww. Oh. HP though, um. And of course, scammed. Once again. Never not scammed. You best pay out something. There's nothing here that can really help me. Ah, uh, wiggles. There's no real need for wiggles. If I actually had a trigger, I could make a great one out of this propane! Hey! So, which one would a ditch? Oh no, we essentially turn the non shuffle one into the healing one. And then we've got this third one we can ditch now, after we've moved everything and inventoried up. 
Ah, oh, take the mushroom, my shotgun bun. <laughs> what does it even mean? Well, accelerating projectile area wiggly propane. Uh, um, oh, it's a shuffle wand. Come on, go. I've got to do that before the end, though. Wiggly projectile area accelerative homing field. Propane. Thanks, guys. Fabulous that you chose, you know, that kind of way of life. Although I can feel it getting a bit weaker already. Of course, it's going to have its limits. It's because I didn't get my mana. You know? It's all in the mana, baby. Ah, I forgot I didn't have any repulsion. It doesn't matter, we got healing anyway. We got the HP perk. Mana. One thing, game. Just one thing. We do end up doing great damage, but it takes a while. You know, I need to get those stacks on quick. I can't be pissing about, really. You confident that's a good idea, mate? <laughs> Not the toxic, leave me alone. Fucking despise that shit. Oh, seriously, what the... Hmm. The tiniest bit. And it's meant to dissipate, right? The purple's meant to just eventually dissipate. Not even eventually, just... Rapidly disappear. But does it? Does it fuck? It does what it wants. Yeah, I always wondered how you're meant to avoid those. And then the obvious answer comes up, you know. Get behind a wall. The orb is teasing me. Made me think it was a mana. For a split second. Until I realized it was not. So I needed to heal in the Hesi base a few times. Alright, wait. Why are you shifting me to... Right. Come on, then. That'll do. 300. It's always fine. Ooh. Ah, I hate being slimed with this. I always celebrate when I get faster movement, when I actually decide to pick it up, if it's useful for the run. <laughs> again, I always feel when I'm slammed up I have such dog shit movement and it really hinders everything because me and movement you know we're pretty well schooled together um, however when I lose a bit I, I just accept it as part of the jungle most of the time that you're gonna get slammed it's so annoying to just waddle about at half pace. Yeah. Alright, what? Jeez. Calm tits. Well, I'll put my uh, venomous curse wand up against these guys anytime. Until their dead bodies get in the way. Thanks, game. You know, I put dead bodies in the way and... Uh, you get those dead bodies out of the way and then see what happens. You know. So 100 HP for... Uh, that was a pretty... You know. 
pretty ill-advised fight. Yeah, I'm not a fan of how inconsistent it is sometimes on the heel. And I'm slammed again, of course. Because, you know. The game wants me to suffer. It knows what potential we've got here. You know. Hold on. Why have I got a blank wand and I've refused a wand before? Uh, I'm sorry. Shouldn't I have automatically just picked up the other ones, no matter what was on it? Because... Well, anything is better than that one. Considering the other ones I've got. Yeah, I'm gonna be in a world of pain for a second, considering you got two waves of purple over my face. They do explosive damage. Interesting. It's not always easy to see exactly what type of damage a shot does as well, you know? Because it just do. Unless it says blocked. If it says blocked, then you take a zero damage and you're most likely immune from the damage. Uh, meaning, uh, check your perks. And then you can... Deduce. Oh, wonderful what? Shuffle again though, isn't it? I'm twitching, which isn't a problem actually. Um, these don't really bend. Boomerang or otherwise. Yeah, I think it's my fault actually that there's quite a lot of purple. Apart from the one where I got shot to the side. But if I get them to shoot upwards, the purple is in the air for a lot longer. So it won't dissipate as fast. You know, it'll have more time on screen maybe. Maybe, it's a theory. willing to put my hands upon that one, so it might be my fault. Um, I could just propane here. I'm explosion immune, right? So what's the worst that could happen? Let me heal up first. Seems to be more stable, you know, the longer the distance, as long as it's not full distance. Because you can see as it's flying. Ah, um, oh, that's what could go wrong, yeah. Next one is so going to be propane. You know what, come on, mushroom. Nah, we're done. I uh -huh, so when I get that one, we'll go around if we can. While well, we're all slimed up. Accuracy, though. It's not a great one. I don't think we've got enough to kill the boss. Mini boss. Sorry. Um, I don't think Venomous will do it. We don't have melee immunity, so that's a big one. If I had explosion and melee, it might be a hell of a different story, but we don't, so... No mana. No party? No party yet, my friends. We've got 5,400... 5,541. There's time, yeah. And there's stuff along the way. Oh, 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 heavy. Heavy shot on it. Angry ghost. Oh, he's so angry. Look at him. Look at that. Well, angry face. We do have some really interesting ones as well now. Although I didn't really want to move away from the Venomous. Bubbles. How much are bubbles actually? Five banner. Again, using the homing would be too expensive. Although we can put more healing on this one then. Um...
The heavy will make this shot a little bit shit though. It's firing two at once. Ah, oh, I saw a wand with speed on before. We didn't pick it up. Shit. Accelerating home and could fix it. Wiggles. It doesn't cost anything. Yeah, the projectile speed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to have to limit it to one shot. Yeah, one shot. Oh, one shot doesn't have heavy shot on. It does make it slightly um, less efficient. Nah, that would be great healing right now. I get to heal two for one. So that's a lot better. Although, something feels like... Yeah, cast delay's been increased. Fuck you, game. Hold on. Oh, this is because it's a chainsaw. Uh... There you go. We no longer have cast delay. Chainsaws have removed all the recharge. Oh, that runs out. Oh, I need mana. Game, I need it. We can make it work. We just need to be very careful about how much we shoot. Yeah, it seems a lot better against the flat surface as well, so the flatter you can shoot upwards into, the better. Although nearly 400 HP, got bombs, got fire. Nah, we actually, well, for one, pick up the previous ones we have. Nah, driver have this one. Although, nah, we're fine. Yeah, put everything on the shuffle wand, all the explosives that I might. Ah, drill. Drill, 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 drill. I think we're good. We've got a lot of wares, you know. And... Our angry ghost. He's just going to spark bolt all the time, though. Okay. You've laid the gauntlet down, game. Um, I really want to earn enough money for another reroll. Um, I'll tell you what, though, le fast levitation could be amazing here. Getting, you know, keeping me high ground if I get f f fucked up. We're saving grace. It get, yeah, it gets me out of a situation super fast. So not a bad call. I've got healing on the go as well. So as long as, because I've got saving grace. As long as I don't get set on fire after being sh Look at that for a start. That is rude. Okay, with a combination... Because I'm not right. I, I need to take something out without killing it. Because I need to see if the... Venomous Curse is affected by the modifier. It shouldn't be. But what I'm thinking is, because I'm doing a certain amount of damage with a spark bolt, is that then translating over into the Venomous Curse? Like, because I'm now doing 45, 50 damage per shot with each spark bolt. Does Venomous get bigger? I doubt it. I think I'm only killing super efficiently because of the double spark bolt. And doing its job. I'm doing it well. Oh, no. 13, 15. No. Nah. It doesn't. Again, the mana's not the biggest concern here for a, you know, a short period of time. I can definitely get a good spray out, you know. We need to get out of it. That was good. Oh, I've only got the toxic community before. We need to heal. And of course we will. 
Yeah, the Wiggle's basically saving my ass. Oh, he's just gonna do his thing, though. Oh, oh, shit. I think with Glass Cannon, I heal more as well. <laughs> so each healing bolt is pretty much a full heal. Oh, that's fantastic. Shit, shit, shit. I was about to say, any electricity is a problem. I'd like some mana on that one, please. To be fair, as long as I can fire off a few volleys, you know, one or two, three shots in the right direction. The amount of mana I have will be the amount of urgency I need to be accurate. You know, if it's a full bar, I don't really need to care. I can spray. Um, but say we're below half, definitely need to, you know, tickle. Not spend more than we're using. Oh, at least I got through his double shield. Yeah. Found some really interesting science regarding the heartbreak uh, glitch, I suppose. <laughs> it's not, it's um, the heartbreak mechanic where you get more HP from the heartbreak mages when you pick up HP. That it works with glass cannon and you can constantly increase your HP as long as you heartbreak more than once. Like, you know when you normally pick up a HP after a heartbreak after glass cannon, it would put your HP back down to where it was meant to be before the heartbreak. Well, if you do two heartbreaks in a row, that doesn't matter. I uh, Like, even after I've picked up a heart now, they could have changed it, I suppose. They could have just not made it revert your HP back now. Again, I, I don't know when they would have done it. They could have... Whoa! Jesus. Hey, at least we've got most of the toasters down. That's the important thing now. Heal! There you go. Again, one single one single rocket in the face could end things. Hey, I like how it just kind of spreads out and covers quite a, a fair area there. Mana. Because again, if I get mana, we've got an entire wand we can just constantly fire off. care about the mate. Uh, sometimes a secondary spray is needed. Who's doing a go and where what now? No mana. Oh, Chevron though. Hell yeah. But these ones. Hell yeah, brother. I think we should go. Uh, again, if I can fire this long and we can get lucky here, get to mana. There's one particular thing I don't see that. Uh, do I really need edit though? And is it really needed? Alright, I can hear audio clicking in the background, so I'm just going to reset my audio for a second. It'll take five seconds. Thank you for your patience, guys. Ah, we should be fine. Thank you, guys. Again, it happens now and again, but... Oh, if we take repulsion. And, of course, scam lottery. Yeah, repulsion is going to work for two things. It's going to help fire these shots rapid and long into the enemy, which is always nice. Ooh, da -da -do, da -da -do. No point in wiggly homing. Oh, glass cam propane. My old friend. But no mana. 
I don't mind not getting mana in this run, you know. The th everything changed when we got glass cannon. But, you know. Oh, Polymancer. Me versus Polymancer. Grr. Where is he? Is he showering here? Where is it? What's he doing? Oh, he did die. The sickest man in the world. What is going on? Oh, that's what happens. The money gets stuck inside the meat of the enemy and, it, and they go wild. Ah, finally I understand it. Oh dear. Yeah, if I can take one of those boys out that efficiently. Yeah, the heavy shot with the glass cannon is kind of far too powerful, really. Oh, they're all going to fire each other. Hopefully. Ow, ow, ow. What shot me, though? He shot me for a wall. Oh, he's being venomous. Maybe. Actually, that's a bit of a problem, right? If I... Alright, I've got an idea. The problem is, if I venomous him and he didn't die and he constantly kept on firing me, well, that sucks. <laughs> Still got more than ten... Full heals left. Ah, that's actually pretty fucking painful, mate. Well, I would have heals if they were. Shaman. Don't set me on fire, Shaman. We'll work some out. Heartbreak. How you doing? We are talking about you before, mate. I don't want to fire right of your head. I want to shoot your head. Not over it. I don't mind missing in a dark place, you know. Your shots could have gone over and killed somebody else. You've got to think optimistically. Oh, we do have explosion immunity. And we have explosives. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Do we need a fire and a hole here? Ah, problem. Yeah, that's the kind of problems we'll see. So now we have multiple ones. Doing multiple things. I was scammed once, right? I was really into Metal Gear Solid 1 when it came out, obviously. As every sane person should have been. During those heady days. When, you know, in PS1... Was around Final Fantasy VIII, Metal Gear Solid. Breath of Fire 3. Oh, oh, all good gaming. Right, let's behave. But I was scammed, right? Because I knew there was mul I knew there was two endings to Metal Gear Solid, you know? I knew that. However, on in a magazine, you know you kind of got, like, some cheat books. Um... Back in old PlayStation magazines and good shit like that. Or walkthroughs and that kind of thing. Well, I was looking at a magazine and it said multiple... <sighs> multiple endings. I think it was multiple. Um, to Metal Gear Solid. I was like, doesn't multiple mean more than two? And they scammed me. <laughs> it is what it did. That was the purist scam, you know. A scam of language. Because to this day, I'm still convinced, you know, they're wrong. Even though technically they may be right, I know they are wrong.
But luckily, right here, right now, we've got some... Oh, I don't really want to give him rockets, to be honest. Clear it out. There you go. And clear it all out now. Fire, 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 fire. And this, my friends, has been an excellent little run. I'm glad I, yeah, glad I played a little bit of that. Oh, 60 HP. Nice. Yeah, let's get all our stuff back. Heals. That kind of thing. So. No mana. Black hole. Lava. Teleport. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Hi, mana look past it. I'd, I'd only be able to use four. My mana low capacity on a 0.37. Or 0.35 recharge. Because I'd only be able to use... Right, if I use one spark bolt. Speed up heavy shot. I'd need a chainsaw, which would bring it down to like 1.7. But this increases cast delay though. I don't think it's feasible. I'd need an increase in size as well. Size and length. Or I could just... Hmm. Don't ask why. <laughs> actually, wouldn't fireball? Ah, I don't want to. I don't want to immediately blow up the propane. Actually, I've got plans for it. Come on, kill us! Oh, oil blood immune to fire. Thanks. So we've got explosion and fire immunity now, uh, meaning we could bring in every explosive. Hold on, I've got to see this. Fireball orbit. A glass cannon, baby. It's not bad. It's not great. That's going to take care of it in like a millisecond anyway. Oh, of course, of course. There is a bit of a problem if I do what I'm planning on doing here. Um, you know? I don't have freezing field. We could be knocked out in seconds. Oh, he's going to launch that somewhere. Oh, he did it on himself. Nice. And now he's getting fucked up by all the rocket. Ah, nice, man, nice. Power! We gotta do one more. He's trying to get out of it. Oh, shit. Oh, good heals, good heals. Get some black hole in there, mate.
Uh, once everything turns to gold, you can't actually have propane bubbles. It appears. But thank you kindly for watching. Hey, if you enjoy the content, always consider dropping a like, subscribing, and ringing that bell button bullshit thingy. I appreciate you taking the time to come out today to enjoy what we have on offer here. We also stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. Come and check us out. Come and enjoy some interactive entertainment. We've got you covered up most days. Anyway, take care. Take it easy. Hope you've enjoyed the run. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care.